So Snake's ledge trapping is a tad different from most characters, mainly because of his explosions and unique moveset. He also, more often than not, doesn't really have to go for ledge trapping because of how busted his Nikita is. There are situations though where you don't quite have enough time to set up a well-angled Nikita for your opponent grabs the edge or comes back on stage. So in these scenarios, I more often than not prefer going for an elf smash ledge trap or a grenade ledge trap. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. Snake's elf smash are actually some of the best ledge trapping tools in the game. Mainly because it's an active hitbox on the way up and down and also creates an additional explosion upon landing. So what you want to do is stand right here near the edge and charge two up smashes, which sounds pretty simple. But the important part is timing your launch up smashes perfectly. So what you want to do is, as somebody's about to grab the edge, your second up smash just comes out. So even if they're a little bit on the edge and stay there, as long as your second up smash comes out while you're on the edge, that's perfect. That's the way you want to time it. If you can time it like this, you can actually cover a lot with the two up smashes and snake himself. So his up smashes actually cover a lot, right? The reason being is if somebody ledge jumps, they'll usually get clipped by the up smash active hitbox on the way up and down. So they can't really ledge jump. If they regularly get up, they can usually shield. Unless the up smash cleanly punishes them, like the explosion hitbox. This doesn't really happen often, so they'll be usually forced to shield, which is fine, because they'll be locked to shield stun and you can just grab them out of it. If they get up attack, they kind of have to time their get up attack perfectly. If they get up attack too soon, the second up smash will come down on them and still hit them. So they can definitely get up attack, but they have to kind of be tricky about it. They can also roll, but the great thing about this ledge trap is that Snake is st still free to act himself. So he can punish rolls with all kinds of things. He can F tilt, up tilt, and he can even grab somebody and back throw them into the up smash. So what if you don't have enough time to set up two up smash at the edge? Well, what I usually go for is I run up, reverse grenade like that, jump away and throw out the diagonal Nikita. And what this does is if you time your grenade pull well, it'll actually hit somebody on the edge if they don't choose the ledge option because they'll run out of invincibility. And what your Nikita does is if you angle it properly and time it properly, it can hit somebody while they're jumping. You can even go a step further and deactivate your Nikita so that it makes an additional hitbox upon landing, which you can also combo out of. One last thing with Snake is his multi-hit jab. This is actually surprisingly decent at covering less jump, and it usually hits people out of their regular getup as well. Sometimes they'll be able to shield it, but when this happens, you can just cancel your jab and not finish the whole thing to make it safe. So I usually do this when I really don't have any time for pull, like pulling a grenade or a Nikita, and I just have to go for a ledge trap on the fly. I also sometimes do jump back here to cover the ledge jump, this is more of a kill option and a hard read, but I do go for it sometimes. Alright, and that is pretty much it for Snake. None of this was actually that complex. It's mostly just timing everything perfectly, that's the hardest part. And again, you usually want to go for Nikita, but for those niche situations where you don't have enough time to set it up, it's nice knowing what kind of ledge trap you can go for. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe as I'll be uploading more consistently again as of now. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.